Why isn't this recording? Well, I need to repeat all I've said until now. We haven't gone far, so it's not like I got to repeat a lot. I wanted to tell you a story about um, two people with a dog, a bulldozer dog, <laughs> Doberman or something. And they live in a house nearby, so they are bound to use my road. So on Saturday when I was filming for Nice Try, a curtain going with the wind at home, they weren't around, but I think then it was on Sunday. So then, or they arrived on Saturday, Oop! and on Sunday they came when I was recording for shitty reality. Oh, the chemtrail free sky I needed. And then at night I was recording when the chemtrails appeared. So I made a video for this song that I have written, which is called Shitty Reality. And you can look it up. It's on Nina Wild, which is my name. And so I know that it was on Saturday they arrived. They drove by and they were like grinning, you know, like <laughs> we are around again. So then on Sunday, someday, sometime throughout the day, I was laying on the bench and enjoying the sun and thinking about this video stuff. I had just done a video the day before and so I was really totally in my thoughts. And then two people passed by and they greeted me. So I was laying on the bench, there is no fence. They can see right across and it's like a meter or something. So they said like, hello, and I went like, hey, you don't need to greet me. Ah, it's a, uh, I don't know what they said then. Whew. So I went like saying, no need to greet me and wake me up from my dreaming. I wasn't like sleeping, you know, I was like daydreaming and enjoying the sun. Being for me, ah yeah, I told them if I don't look, you don't need to greet me. It's the same like during the winter times. Why do you greet me when you know I'm not interested in your whatever? greetings and whereabouts and I won't chat with you, nothing of that kind. They passed by with their dog and uh, I just had put out cat food for the cats. One cat was passing by and so I thought, yeah, let's put it onto the street. So I did so. So I really need to remember everything step by step stuff that happened i think that was it so they went and so a few minutes later they came back i by that time i have been like going into the house and going outside again so i was again oh no i went to the wood where they have their house and i looked for the cat so when they came I saw them approaching. So the two men approach me in front of my house and I look towards my house and I go like, oh yeah, you want to greet me again? And they go like, uh, it's Switzerland, we do greet each other. So I went explaining, no, if I look away, you don't need to shout greetings at me. And especially not when I'm sleeping. And so we got into kind of a fight and I said I'm not interested in kind of getting to know them and now I already do sort of recognize their faces which is really annoying yeah and so they threatened they weren't walking I was walking past them towards my house so there was a guest some guest with a bulldozer dog as I said and he said, well, 
if you threaten us we're gonna uh, I'm gonna put the dog against you so I went like yeah well do so I'm not afraid and then we can I continued talking to the other one I didn't really know is the dog at all dangerous or what so I threw I picked up a stick and I threw that stick so that I could see would the dog run or what would it do but nothing happened so then the other one went like oh yeah you're sort of kind of playing with my dog well he said to his dog let's get her and then he walked he had the dog on its leash I didn't see that in the beginning the dog was always close to that man and kind of you know I didn't pay attention so that that man that I don't have any dealings with came towards me and he was like you know I'm gonna threaten you with my dog so I went like yes do so and I walked steps towards him because I knew if I run away you know that one would really signal the dog hey that's easy bite so what I did was I offered that man came so straight up towards me one meter apart from each other we stood we weren't shouting we were both not talking even we were both looking at each other you know what or at me yeah, I was looking at the dog he probably was kind of checking out what I would do so I offered the dog to sniff on my hand and then I looked into the eyes of that poor dog and he looked so threatened you know so I stood instead of facing that man with his dog I kind of showed them my narrow side not my front or my back but like my side so that the dog would see there is no danger so and I'm even not making myself bigger in his presence I'm kind of making myself rather small smaller that's what I learned with cows when you treat cows like that they like it you know it's like a peace offer so then I knew that uh, dog is kind of a wooji and probably the owner as well I mean come on a owner that goes saying let's get her now we're gonna get her and then he walks towards me with his dog looking at the dog and kind of giving it the direction towards me he wasn't saying bite her though he wasn't doing any of that if he had done that sure maybe the dog I don't know if he knows these kind of commands so then they kind of vanished into the wood finally so then now my landowner calls me how am I treating the passers-by well <laughs> what shall I say so she said she's giving me the sack if this is gonna end in front of the police so I go like oh I'm gonna say sorry to those people since I really like living here so that one was happening today Monday in the morning so the first email was really horrendous and I really had my heart again sack into sinking into kind of oblivion like really it was hot and cold at the same time what because of those uh -uh, I'm gonna be uh, evicted so yeah I'm gonna continue in a moment for I'm uh, sort of trying to get past my bench uh, there is always some kind of uh, oops. 
you know, I don't know, do people speak English around here, yes or no? Oops, they're not allowed to know about my private whereabouts, as you do. <laughs> it's funny, huh? I tell the whole world my sorrows. And after that, I always feel better. But my neighbors, I don't like. Even the people that are visitors up on here, I don't like. I'm really happy as winter time went. Uh, the way it went during winter time was nobody around. Just like 80 centimeters of snow in three days. And then it got like the level of the snow was decreasing but yeah uh, some new snow was added so it was like always I had to go out and <laughs> clean the street from the snow so that the postman could pass yeah I don't know is it today a day of festivities in Switzerland still I thought on Sunday there was like Jesus going up uh, again you know remembering that incident that never has happened so it's like you know yeah oh my stomach is a bit upset because I just started drinking Vita Biosa I was because of this heat now I thought it will be better to put my kind of coconut uh, and stuff the oils into the fridge like actually turn it on usually it's turned off but since I know that even a freezer like to freeze things only costs me about 23 or something Swiss francs a year I calculated what it would cost to freeze a lot of broccoli so now I know this little freezer during summer won't be too much like expensive you know so I'm gonna start again <laughs> 